Good morning guys, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name's Emma, these are my allotment diaries. Hope you all had a lovely Easter. Welcome back to the plot on this lovely sunny April day. Um, I'm actually filming this in March so it feels a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm filming it before I go away for Easter so I've got something to go up after. I'm currently walking towards my allotment plot and I'm hoping and praying that Foxy hasn't been around today. Um, oh, I can already see the structures are up. Yes, fantastic, okay. So it looks like the scarecrow might have worked. Might be a bit early to say, oh, no, something has happened. Let's go and investigate. So the last time I came here, this structure was totally destroyed, right? It was all the netting was up, everything had been pulled out from the middle. Um, and I assumed it was Foxy and I sort of sorted it all out. And then I put up this lovely um, scarecrow, which is Harry. So Harry was my old scarecrow, but his, his body died and I only had his head left and he lost all his hair. He's very, very sad, but I've made him into the new and improved Harry now. It seems to have worked, but can you see how the structure's slightly fallen over here? It makes me feel like birds have been landing on the top of it and sort of pushing it in. Do you know what I mean? That's how it looks. It doesn't look like a fox. It doesn't look like a fox to me. It looks like birds. I think I was right with birds. Let's just fix it up a little bit, double check. Everything's alive. <gasps> Einstein! Were you sitting on my camera that whole time? Look at this, look at this, look at this. What are you doing up there? That's a scarecrow. You're supposed to be scared of it. <laughs> You're supposed to be scared of it, not be sitting on it, Einstein. What are you doing? No, off, off. Honestly, honestly, what's he thinking? Anyway, if it is birds, that does make me feel slightly more at ease than it being a fox because I think deterring birds is a little bit easier than deterring foxes. I'm not saying it wasn't the fox, but I'm hoping it was birds because there's lots of things I can put in to stop the birds, that's okay. Uh, foxes are a little bit harder. Are you waiting to be fed? Yeah, okay, right, let's get him fed. How gorgeous this day is today. We were not predicted this at all. It was predicted to be grey and cold and cloudy and slightly rainy, but we've just got blue sky and sunshine. Makes me want to get on with stuff now. Um, look at all of these um, spring flower bulbs that are starting to flower. They're so gorgeous. This was the area that I struggled to know what to do with for a long time. It's got the apple tree in the middle and it's got this sort of tree stump. And what I did in the end was plant a load of spring bulbs around here and I'm going to plant more flowers as well. But we've got the crocuses coming up and then we've got all the tulips coming up as well. It's just beautiful. Right, so this is the back of my allotment plot. You can see I've sort of had to pile up quite a lot of like logs and stuff from my plot. Um, but this is the pathway which needs to be wood chipped. Just behind it, I've left a strip of sort of dirt and I need to dig it out today because what I'm gonna do is put a load of flower seeds in there and just have lots of flowers coming up. I'm thinking cornflowers, cosmos, um, anything that I can stick in really. I'm gonna make a bit, a bit of a, a flower cocktail to put down or a, a cupcake mix. Sort of going to like put all of the seeds together in a pot and sort of scatter them along it um, but I do need to dig it out first and make sure that there's no blackberry canes because I haven't done that yet so this is my job for the day and I think what it will do if I come back here because the back of my plot is sort of like backs onto another plot what it will do is that we'll just have a nice sort of fence of wildflower right along the back here it will sort of frame my frame my entire allotment plot and I think it will look really really beautiful I need to find my wheelbarrow. Um, I can't find it. <laughs> Just done a loop of my plot. The thing is, is a wheelbarrow is not really something that you would um, lose, is it? It's definitely not on this plot. So where is it? Oh, no. It is that time of year where a lot of people start arriving and um, 
people can take things. So this is the time of year where I really have to be careful with all of my equipment and my tools and make sure I lock it up. That sounds awful. I hate saying that. I hate it. I wish humans were just nice, but oh, there it is. <laughs> no one's taking it. This must have been my husband. This is not me. I never put mine upside down like this. Um, and you should put it upside down because otherwise the rain gets in it. But I never do. <laughs> yeah, this is the time of year where if you've got a new plot, be careful with your tools and stuff. Just start putting them away somewhere no one can see them, lock them up somewhere, whatever you have to do. That's my advice. Really good potato as well. Random. Right, my camera is absolutely covered in mud now, but I've dug all of that out. I tried to get as many of the canes out, so the blackberry canes and, but there's a lot of bindweed in there and there's also a lot of um, stinging nettle weeds and stuff. So real horrid perennial weeds in there. So I know it's gonna grow back to some degree. Like it's definitely not gonna be completely clear of weeds, but I've done the best I can. I don't think a few weeds are gonna bother me, to be honest, as long as the majority of it is sort of flowers. But you can see it's sort of essentially a strip just along here, just um, behind the pathway and in front of all of that stuff there. So imagine flowers up to like there. Wouldn't that look nice? Right, let's go and get the seeds ready. So what you essentially do is you get a pot like this, right? It's got no holes in it, so nothing can fall out. And then put in some compost, like that, okay. Then, <laughs> this is so chaotic. You get your seeds, okay? Lots and lots of flower seeds. Lots of flower seeds, you see those? Right, yeah, okay. Then what we do is we put the flower seeds in the pot. And we get the cosmos, cosmos. Okay, no, that's not cosmos, that's cornflower. And then I've got these, which are like wild winter bird feeding mix. They're like little things that, I don't know, create flowers for the birds in the winter. So we've got those. Right, then we mix it up. All those seeds in there. And then, and then essentially we've created like a cupcake mix and then you just sprinkle this over the bed and then it grows into whatever it's gonna grow into, like all these different flowers. And I think I saw this on Gardener's World. I think someone did it on Gardener's World. And it's just a way of just scattering so, like loads of seeds in one go um, really easily. So this is what I'm gonna scatter. And obviously, because we've got compost in there, you don't have to cover them because it sort of covers itself in a weird way. Um, but anyway, we're gonna go scatter this now. I just tipped a load of it out. <laughs> what an absolute idiot. I just went to put it down and I just tipped it out. Oh, I've got to save, save the seeds, save the seeds. I'm gonna have them all here now. Also, with this method, you don't have to be too particular about spacing and stuff. You can just scatter it, which is my favorite way of planting seeds. It's just like confetti planting. I'm excited. <laughs> them in so that they're not on top of the soil and sort of underneath the soil that's all I'm doing swooshing them swooshing them like that still so many weeds but I just cannot get rid of all of them like that's just ridiculous right hopefully the flowers sort of overtake the, the weeds okay, let's give it a water <laughs> Oh, 
probably needed a lot more seeds in there and probably a lot more weeds, weeding as well. More seeding, more weeding. <laughs> more seeding, more weeding. Um, but I think it's a good start and I think I'll probably get another couple of packs of um, cornflowers and whack them in. Um, oh yeah, I found a potato as well, like a perfectly good potato in there. So I don't know what that's doing in there. It's the only one as well. There's no other sign of potato life in there. So I don't know where that came from. Um, I probably won't eat it get rid of it <laughs> um the only thing i'm thinking is the birdies now birdies are gonna love that that's like pick a mix i've just created a pick a mix for the birds so let's get some netting or something just to put over it i think sorry birdies sorry birdies <laughs> The love of netting continues not. Oh, netting. <laughs> I just found another potato. I don't know why that's so funny. I'm just finding loads of potatoes. Why? Where are they coming from? Right, so this bit along here is now all netted. This bit over here is gonna to have to sort of fend for itself because <laughs> I've run out of netting. So you're on your own guys. I don't think there's as many over here. So what I might do is put a row of sunflowers along there. What do you reckon? Wouldn't that look nice? A little row of sunflowers. But where I've got all the netting, that's all the cornflowers, cosmos, and those um, wildflower ones for the birds. So they should all come up really nice and tall along there. That looks so nice if they survive. Please let them survive. Will the birds let them live? That's the question. Will the birds let them live? No. <laughs> no is the answer, but I'm hoping that some of them survive. There's quite a few in there. Um, otherwise, I'll just buy a few more packets. But that's a good job to get done. I'm glad I got that job done. I really need some wood chip. I really need wood chip down here, but that's another story for another day. Right, okay. I can hear a woodpecker. It's actually so quiet today that I can hear a woodpecker. Did you hear that? Does that get on camera? Let me see if I can go a bit closer. There, did you hear it? That's a woodpecker. I know the sound of a woodpecker now because I've actually seen one in real life um, a few years ago. But yeah, wow. Gosh, woodpeckers are out. Anyway, it's feeling so springy today. I think what we want to do is sort out the pond because um, there's quite a lot of um, weed, pond weed in there. It's quite annoying because I did redo the pond and I put quite a few oxygenating plants in. Look how well all of my pond plants are coming back. They're just doing fantastic. I genuinely thought I killed them all. But look, they surprise me. Every year they surprise me. This one's beautiful. I don't know what it is. I don't know what any of them are. I think I've got some like water forget-me-nots, which are my favourites. But you see, oh hi Einstein. You see all of the pond weed, that all needs to come out. These gloves are from Cool Job and they're actually waterproof, so I can just put my hand straight in and pull out. Look at that, it's like snot. And what we're going to do is just put it on the side of the pond so we can allow all the creatures to get back in. Just put it around the side like that. Oh, it's like snot. Oh. It's satisfying, but it's just a bit gross as well. Satisfying and gross.
down to the front of my original plot and a few of my new potatoes that I planted, my early potatoes, so these are the rocket variety, I planted them probably about three weeks ago and a few of them are starting to grow now. I did chip them before so I'm not surprised but I am happy. This here, this is a potato, this is a potato coming up and there's an, a couple of other leaves coming up just over there I can see so they are alive and coming up which is amazing. I've covered these new dahlias that I planted out with some plastic cloche. Um, I just got these off of Amazon, they're really good. They've got ventilation as well, so you can turn that. So no ventilation and then you can give them a little bit of air as well. So they are really good. I've just put them over these ones because this soil was quite cold and boggy, whereas the rest of the soil it went into was sort of okay. So I'm hoping that the others will survive. And then just behind me, all the cornflower seedlings have germinated. How do I know they're cornflowers? Because I put a great big bag of brand new compost over the top, so the only thing that could be coming up here right now in this quantity, looking identical, is cornflower seedlings, and that's why I did it. I knew I'd be so tempted to weed the bed if I saw loads of weeds coming up, like weeds coming up, but actually because it's new compost, I can tell all of these are cornflowers, and I do have a few gladiolis coming up as well. Um, in here, don't know if they'll flower, we never know, but yeah, they're all coming up, so this is going to look so beautiful. Also had a few contradicting comments about my uh, raspberry over the archway experiment. A lot of you saying because they're autumn raspberries they won't grow up because you have to cut them right down, um, and summer ones would. So these are autumn raspberry canes, I don't know if they'll make it over the archway, but I thought it was worth a try, it's worth a try, I've got the structure here. If anything, they'll just go up the structure a little bit either side. And I think that'd be okay. I'll put some bunting at the top or something, but they are growing, so I didn't kill them, <laughs> which I think is like, it's good enough. <laughs> the raspberries are still alive. I did not kill them. So even if they don't make it up the archway, at least they're alive. <laughs> turned into such a beautiful day, sun shining, blue skies, everything's looking so alive. I would stay here for hours if I could just pottering around, that's my favourite thing to do in the garden is just potter around and poke at things, um, but I've got to get my rabbit to the vet so I have to leave and I'm gutted. I did not predict this weather today and if I did I wouldn't have made the appointment today, honestly he can wait. <laughs> but I do have to go. So I hope you've enjoyed my vlog today. If you have, do subscribe to my channel. I will see you again on Friday. Have a lovely gardening weekend or week. <laughs> Bye.